Okay, Apple has just revealed MGIE, an image editor that promises to change how we interact with images. Created with the help of the University of California, Santa Barbara, MGIE helps users edit images using simple language prompts, thanks to its smart use of multimodal large language models, MLLMs. In simple terms, this means you can adjust photos in more intuitive ways by utilizing text prompts. You know, I think this is a big step forward from older tools like pix to pix since changing images with words opens up new possibilities for creativity. It means artists and designers can experiment more freely without needing to learn complicated software. All right, let's take a closer look at MGIE, folks. So, what's behind the MGIE image editor? Well, the tech behind MGIE is seriously impressive. It's powered by a cutting-edge combination of multimodal large language models and image processing algorithms. To put this into context, MLLMs are a new frontier in AI research because they blend various data types like images, text, and audio, pushing beyond just text analysis. Now, some of these models excel across different modalities, such as generating text descriptions from images, understanding and generating speech, analyzing images, and more. The secret source powering MLLMs lies in their architecture, specifically their attention to mechanisms and massive neural networks. These attention mechanisms enable the models to focus on specific parts of input text, helping them grasp complex relationships and dependencies within sentences. Meanwhile, their neural networks, which consist of layers upon layers of interconnected nodes, process and transform the input data into meaningful output. One of the more advanced models out there is definitely Apple Ferret, which has recently shocked the industry with its sophisticated image recognition capabilities. It can analyze specific parts of an image, identifying elements, and understanding their context with a shocking precision. If you want to learn more about Apple Ferret, we posted a video analysis a few weeks ago. Check it out later and let us know what you think. So back to MGIE. The fusion of language understanding and image editing prowess is what makes MGIE stand out. For instance, if you asked MGIE to brighten the colors in the photo and remove any blurriness, it can do exactly that. I guess this kind of specific, accurate response to user commands is what makes MGIE stand out. I think it's the first tech I'm aware of that allows you to modify pictures that easily. There have been other attempts at this tech, such as Canvas AI Editor, but they always seem to fall short. I think MGIE might be here to change that. What do you guys think? But how does all this work? The model's architecture likely involves a combination of state-of-the-art natural language processing, NLP techniques, and computer vision algorithms. Through extensive training on large-scale datasets, the model has learned to effectively pass and understand diverse textual prompts, allowing users to communicate their image editing requirements in ordinary language. There's a lot that we don't know about this technology yet, but MGIE's implementation may involve the use of deep neural networks, possibly including transformer-based architectures to process and interpret both the linguistic and visual components of user instructions. These neural networks likely undergo a meticulous training process to learn the intricate relationships between textual input and the corresponding modifications to images, which is what allows the model to give us a seamless and intuitive user experience. Open Source Strategy In a weird turn of events, if you ask me, Apple has decided to add open source features to this AI model, I guess with the intention of improving its image editing software. So, by sharing MGIE's basic code under open source licenses, Apple allows for several advantages like better code quality due to shared reviews and faster progress in technology. Will this also help the technology stay advanced? It might, since it will be able to benefit from a wide range of ideas and skills. Also, by joining the open source community, Apple draws in technical talent eager to work on important projects. This is crucial for MGIE's development and for building a stronger community around Apple's technology, something that the company has been severely lacking for a while now. For instance, by opening up MGIE's code, a developer in India could suggest an improvement that makes the software faster, which then benefits users globally. 
Similarly, a suggestion from a developer in Brazil might make MGIE more user-friendly for people who speak Portuguese. This kind of global collaboration ensures that the software isn't only technologically advanced, but also accessible and user-friendly for a diverse audience. Industry Impact So if the app continues evolving in the direction it's headed, Apple's MGIE photo editor could totally shake things up in the photo editing world. This is a double-edged sword, as is usually the case with AI. On one hand, this could open up the world of photo editing to a whole new group of people who may have felt uh, intimidated by the complexity of traditional editing software. But at the same time, it could also lead to a decrease in the quality of edited photos as AI may not always make the most artistic or creative decisions. However, with MGIE's advanced machine learning algorithms and its ability to learn from user feedback, it has the potential to be a game changer in the photo editing world. It can bring in new features and techniques that traditional tools may not have thought of or been able to implement. But perhaps one of the most exciting aspects of MGIE is its ability to work seamlessly across multiple devices. No longer will you have to transfer your photos between different software or platforms. Just a few clicks and you can continue editing on any device without losing any progress. However, if there's a group of people who might not be happy about all of this, it is definitely photo editors. I've already heard some voices complaining about how this might take away the creativity and artistry from their work. But I believe MGIE can totally enhance their skills and make their workflow more efficient. For one, with its advanced AI technology, MGIE can quickly analyze a photo and suggest edits or enhancements that even a seasoned editor might not have thought of. I guess this opens up new possibilities for creativity and experimentation. We're probably going to see a bunch of creative stuff in the near future. So what will the future bring? Here's my prediction. Instead of spending time learning complex software interfaces and techniques, users could focus more on expressing their creative vision through natural language. This could lead to a more intuitive and user-friendly experience for editing photos, making it easier for anyone to bring their visual ideas to life. Additionally, as AI models like MGIE continue to advance, we might see a broader range of editing capabilities become available through simple voice or text commands, further streamlining the editing process. And plus, as the technology behind MGIE continues to evolve, we may see advancements in the realm of real-time collaboration and instant feedback. Imagine being able to collaborate with others on editing projects, with each person providing natural language instructions to the AI and seeing the edits take shape in real time. Well, what do you guys think? Could MGIE be the future or the downfall of the picture editing industry? Let us know and drop an AI in the comments to let us know you watched the whole video. Also, consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.